Joe Biden immediately attributed a drone strike that killed three U.S. soldiers and injured at least 34 more to Iran-backed militant groups operating in Syria and Iraq. A statement from the U.S. military said that U.S. troops were stationed at a base in northeast Jordan, near the Syria border. Mohanad al mubaydin a spokesperson for the Jordanian government, told public broadcaster al Mamlaka that the soldiers were not targeted on Jordanian soil, but at the U.S.-controlled Al-Tanf airbase inside Syrian territory. The drone strike on U.S. forces follows rising tensions along Jordan's border with Syria. As Amman has scaled up a campaign to strike Iranian-backed drug and weapon smuggling networks inside Syrian territory. A series of airstrikes on the town of Orman in Asaweda province killed 10 people earlier this month, according to monitoring groups. Officials across the Middle East, particularly in the Gulf and Jordan, have increasingly drawn attention to Syrians' central role in smuggling networks for the powerful stimulant Captagon, an amphetamine-like substance. The drug has proven to be a cash cow for the regime of Bashar al-Assad in Damascus, leading to accusations that Syria is operating as a narco-state due to its dependence on profits from the drug, which regional officials hoped would be curbed by normalizing relations. Instead, mammoth shipments of the drug continue to be intercepted in Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Jordan. The smuggling networks from Iranian-backed militias in southern Syria also include weapons that some analysts fear are trafficked to Palestinian militant groups in the West Bank fueling an increasingly regional war amidst the ongoing conflict in Gaza that has killed over 26,400 people. U.S. troops in Iraq and also naval forces sailing off the coast of Yemen have increasingly come under fire from Iranian-backed militias, sparking fears of a widening conflict that Washington is struggling to contain. U.S. forces in Iraq have stepped up airstrikes against groups backed by Tehran, including three strikes earlier this week targeting Qat'ib Hezbollah. The U.S. military said following the strike that they'd targeted the group's headquarters as well as storage and training locations for rocket, missile, and one-way attack UAV capabilities. The strikes followed a ballistic attack on Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq that injured U.S. military personnel, part of a barrage of attacks on the base that are often intercepted by air defenses.